Hey, good morning, good afternoon, good night, wherever you are. Thank you for tuning in. If you guys have been here before, you know the gist. We're going to be looking at stocks that have gone way up and you knew they were going to be way up because you didn't buy them. There were stocks you were watching. You were like, wow, I know I really should have bought that, but I didn't. Uh, let's take example NVIDIA. We all should have bought that one, right? But how many people bought it? before it had the one 200 300% gain. You know, so people who didn't buy like I mean I bought some early and I sold it, but I didn't get monster gains like that. Um you know, it, that stock really ran and some people didn't get it and they wish they had gotten it because they knew. They knew that it would have been good, but they didn't because they were nervous, emotions, etc. So um, what this video is going to talk about is looking at stocks that have ran up, whether you knew it or not, or wish you got in or you didn't get in, um, what you can do to potentially find out where it's nested and see if that um, ETF or fund is going to continue up. So... Um, let me just speak, for example, on a few different things. I'll, I'm just going to keep using NVIDIA. We're not going to look at NVIDIA. I'm just going to use it as an example. NVIDIA went crazy this year. Bitcoin. Um, a lot of these index stocks, like NVIDIA kind of represented the technology sector. Bitcoin represents the cryptocurrency sector. Um, Carvana leads the car sector. I mean, I, they don't. But what that means is when we have these one-off superstar stocks go boom it's usually a sign that that industry is going to continue upward or it's going to rise the ships all all ships i don't know what that that saying is but all all ships all the rising tide lifts all ships so nvidia lifted the technology sector bitcoin lifted the crypto sector uh carvana did it lift up the car sector? I don't know. I don't, I'm not, I don't watch that sector. Um, but here are 10 stocks that I'm just going to show on the screen. Ticker symbol SLNO, Solano Therapeutics. That went up 1,406%. Ticker symbol AAOI, Applied Optoelectronics, opto went up 770%. ACIC, American Coastal Insurance, went up 685%. Carvana went up 642%. Immunogen, ticker symbol IMGN, went up 491%. Ticker symbol TAST, Carol's Restaurant, is up 475%. There's a few more. Those are just examples. What we're going to do is see if we can find ETFs that those stocks are in and determine if that potential ETF has momentum to move forward. So we're going to look at the technical analysis of this stock that is nested within an ETF. If I've lost you, stay. We're going to dive in right about now. Also, consider hitting the subscribe and the like button if you made this far. All right, you guys, we are on ETF.com, and we're essentially just going to look for ETFs or stocks that are in ETFs uh, to see if, you know, a stock that has already ran up, but it might be within an ETF that um, could have similar names that could also rise so um, here are the stocks I was just telling you about. I looked at stocks that have gone up over 100% year to date. Again, the first one is Solano Therapeutics that I mentioned, ticker symbol AAOI. I talked about Carvana. And then Carol's Restaurant at number 10, which you guys can see right there. So let's take a look at uh, Solano Therapeutics as an example. S-L-N-O. And it's going to show us how many ETFs have uh, this stock. Sorry, I did not hit the submit button. Um, going to drink my 85 degree coffee, not a sponsor. All right. There are only four ETFs that hold SLNO. Uh, we can see right here in this column the number of shares held within um, that ETF. So ticker symbol VXF. Let's look at ticker symbol VXF and see what the momentum looks like for VXF. VXF. 
and we're going to look at the bigger picture because um, we like to look at the bigger picture and then would let down. So look at this. Uh, you guys can't see it. Um, let me shrink a little bit. All right. Okay. The stock is nowhere near its highs. This is a Vanguard Extended Market Index ETF. Um, a $2 dividend, great. Um, looking at, we want to look at strength and momentum. So strength right now is at 52. So I think we could see this one continue to rise up a little bit. Um, if I had to draw some lines, because I love to draw lines, uh, I would probably start right here and then work my way up. So like right there. We could probably even go to right there. So I chose that spot because um, oops, I wanted to go right here. There we go. So we have uh, support, 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 and then it fell through and then shot up and it has yet to hit the support again. And now we are coming to a crossroads. Look at that. This, this candle broke right above. So um, it's at $153. The all time high was around 199. So if this stock, if this ETF um, were to get back to all time highs, it's got about a 25% move potentially, 150 to 200. Um, and then if we take a look at hedge funds and institutions, are they buying or selling this ETF? Oh Lord, they are buying. And let me just move it over a little bit. So right here, look, the, the candles are increasing to show that there is buying. Um, I don't know. Yeah, this doesn't show how much ownership there is. But again, this is a, a good breakout if it can hold. A lot of things can happen in the world. So um, just be cautious, but this one is looking good in my opinion. And then again, it's fighting resistance as well right here. So it's right between support and resistance. Uh, we'll see how it, how it moves, but uh, overall looking good. We can see the money flow is going up uh, relative momentum is kind of flattish, kind of aiming down. It might be kind of getting ready to flip, but we don't know. Momentum is getting ready to move back up. Definitely looks like that. Strength is moving up. So um, signs point to a higher ETF here, higher price. So VXF, um, that one looks decent. Uh, let's look at taste, T-A-S-T. How many ETFs hold TAST? Let's go back. I want to find like a restaurant index fund. That would be fun. So Solano Therapeutics, that was an example. There was only four ETFs that held it. Uh, there are 31 ETFs that hold taste. Ooh, advisor share restaurant ETF. Eats, E-A-T-Z. That sounds like a good ETF to look at. They own quite a bit. They have, wow, number of shares. Who has the most number of shares? The Russell 2000, Invesco Dorsey Wright. Let's look at eats. I want to look at eats and then DFAT. Okay, let's look at eats. E A T Z. Restaurant ETF. Ooh. Um, mixed signals here. It, it's a newer ETF. Has a dividend of 2%. That's awesome. Uh, I'm getting mixed signals just because it's newer. Uh, the strength is going upwards. That's good. Momentum also going upwards that's good money flow kind of hit a high and it's kind of trying to determine if it's going to leg up or leg down 
Uh, relative momentum is kind of flattish at 30, not something we want to see. Um, let's look at a different ETF that's been around a little bit longer. <clears throat> let's check out eats. Um, no. Let's look at this covered call growth ETF, <clears throat> RYLG. I'm going to guess this is at all time highs. Let's see. Mm. Sorry, it's not all time highs. Small caps have been getting battered. Uh, I'm guessing there has to be a dividend with this one. Yep, 8%. That's awesome. That's so cool. Um, this is cool. So again, not enough data to really go off of here. Let's just check one more um, ETF on the first page. Um, let's look at DWAS. Okay, this one has quite a bit of history, perfect. <clears throat> So this one's around $77, all-time high 100, about a 30% gain to go there. Uh, small dividend, that's good for small caps. Um, so uh, again, this is a potential, uh, potentially a good one because, um, excuse me, taste is up over 400%. There is a mix of stocks that are similar to taste in this fund. Now, when you invest in ETF, you always want to look at um, several things. One is their expense ratio. Um, also look and see the quality of the stocks that are in the ETFs. For this one, we don't know the quality. Um, we don't know what their top stock is. I guess we could just check. Like, what's their top small cap stock? Um, is Shopify a small cap? I don't know. Let's just see their holdings on this fund holdings. What's their number one holding for small caps? Transcat. Interesting. What's that one look like? T R N S. This small cap is it's hot. It's really hot. Wow, it's been doing really well. Used to be a freaking penny stock about 10 years ago. Crazy. Um, so again, just do your own research into individual stocks. But I wanted to bring back around that, you know, if you see a stock that has already gone up, let's say NVIDIA or SNL, SLNO or Taste, you can try and find ETFs that hold similar holdings to those to see if, okay, hey, this stock already went up, but is there a potential chance that the ETF has momentum, our institutions buying, our hedge funds buying, um, you know, looking at the quality of the stocks. I don't know. I mean, Transcat looks like a decent stock. It's got a recommendation of one right there highlighted. Uh, it's very overvalued though. Um, not that much debt. Uh, gross margins are over 30%. That's great very low float so again a lot of factors to be aware of but um yeah if you find a if you found a hot stock that you've never heard of in an industry or a sector you're not aware of just type that stock into go to etf.com look for um let's see whatever page that is etf analytics etf stock finder see if you can find it in an etf and look at that etf look at the quality of the etf map out the etf is it are the uh, is the momentum heading in the right direction? Strength heading in the right direction? Are institutions, hedge funds, hedge funds buying that, etc. A lot of and you know take in, take into consideration your own risk tolerance as well. If you're um, get a little shaky or nervous when a stock goes up or down 25, 30 percent, you know just be one within yourself. I hope you've uh, enjoyed this content. Consider hitting the subscribe button, hit the like button, or the down like button. Uh, leave a comment. Have a great day.